That moment, he heard a gunshot from the cabin. It turned out that Alice had just left, but she saw a more horrible scene. Lisa's body was lying all over the place, and the wounded Lisa number two was still crawling in. Alice went over to comfort her. Alice then realized, as long as all the people here die, the cycle will start all over again. Alice had to go to the basement to shut down the cruise ship's engines once and for all. But no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't stop the ship. Then on the deck, Alice calmed down. Then she went to the dining room and told the new arrivals, Donnie and Lisa, that Gray was waiting for them in the theater. Then she went to the room with the weapons. She puts on a black robe and gets a gun and bullets. And then she puts on the hood. And that's when Alice became the new masked man. The rest of the episode was exactly the same as the previous one. Until the end. She went to the side of the road and took a ride home. But when she got home, then Alice packed her bags and packed up Alice number four in the trunk and drove her son to Gray's appointment. And when Gray came out to greet them, when Gray comes out to greet them, it's back to the scene from the beginning of the movie.